Welcome back to the channel guys. So today we got some amazeball news obviously by the page that we're looking at up on GitHub concerning the analog Mega SG, the FPGA based Sega Genesis system. And I think that system is pretty damn sweet. We've been doing a lot of content on it lately and I have a lot of stuff in the future planned for it as well. But our boy Smoke Monster, he has curated the release of the jailbreak firmware. What does this entail? Well, that's what we're going to take a look at today. And I'm going to show it in action for you guys because this is pretty flipping sweet. I actually think this is more exciting than the jailbreak for the Super NT because we have more compatibility, more things we could do with this. And it's just so damn polished at the moment. But let's take a quick look. So I'll put a link in the description so you could jump into this and take a look if you so choose. But this is the page we're going to be on. If you want to download this, very simple. You're just going to click on this green button right here, clone or download. I would recommend just downloading zip and then unzipping it, opening it up. So we'll take a look at that in a moment and I'll explain how you install it. But he does have a lot of information here uh, letting you know you need to use two gigabyte or larger card as FAT32 because uh, FAT16 and EXFAT are not supported. Uh, so there you go. You can format larger cards to FAT32. We've talked about that in the past, but I don't think we really need to worry too much about that. So in this little pack, you're going to have the firmware and a few other things to enable you to more easily organize your ROMs. Uh, just kind of an added bonus thing. So you could you could go and look at all this stuff. There's really no reason for us to run into this like through it at the moment. But everything's here if you so need it. But once you do get that that downloaded, this is what's going to be in that zip. You're going to have your your firmware uh, and some README type stuff there, right? So in the firmware, this is the 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 file that you really need: the uh, MSG firmware version JB7.3 bin. So you're going to put that on your SD card, just boom on the root of the card. From there, you're going to pop it into your Mega SG in that little SD card slot. Boot it up, make sure you got power and everything. Boot it up, give it a few minutes. The little light will be going crazy, blinking. You may not see anything on your screen at that time. Don't fret, as long as that light's blinking, it's installing the jailbreak firmware. Now, the good thing with this is analog are freaking geniuses. The people who are working on this are geniuses. People doing these jailbreaks and the firmware updates are geniuses. There's no way you're going to break your system, so you don't have to worry about that. Give it a moment. Once it's done installing that jailbreak, the system will boot up and you'll see everything just as normal. It'll it'll reset your settings, at least from what I saw, updating your firmware, reset your settings, because uh, I noticed my font had changed back to the default, and I don't really like the default font, but we'll look at that in a moment. So from there, once you're done with that, get your SD card out, delete that firmware from the SD card, just so nothing goes on in the future. You shouldn't have a problem. I left the Firmware's on the SD card and never had an issue, but that's in part of the directions. Delete that stuff. Now, the file system stuff, the little added bonus, you don't have to use this, but digging into this, uh, these are the only folders you may want to use, and it just makes things a little easier to navigate. So you put your BIOS files in here. Um, I have like the, the Sega Master System stuff, um, and actually on my SD card that I'm using, I have the Game Gear BIOS on there. Um, but from here, you can see what systems are supported. ColecoVision, Sega Genesis, what Game Gear, Hells Yes, and Sega Master System SG-1000. Pretty flippin' sweet. So populate this with all your games. You can have subfolders, however you want to deal with it. You don't have to use this file system, but I did use it. And I put on my Smoke Monster EverDrive packs into some of these. What? Hells Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So let's just jump right into it and kind of show it in action here. So... Once you're booted up and you have everything going, you're going to see a few differences here. Now you have cores. What? Not the beer. You have cores, FPGA cores, those systems we just spoke about, the Coleco, Genesis, Game Gear, and Sega Master System. We'll jump into that in a second. In settings, I believe you do have a couple new options. Uh, let me see. Hey, yeah, in uh, menu options there, you have a save warning message. You can deactivate that. I'm going to show you what that message is in a second. And then high res file browser. I have that set on. It just makes it look a little nicer, easier to navigate. So there we go. Let's go ahead and go back and go back to the cores, right? So here we go. Genesis SMS1, SMS SG1000, what? Game Gear and ColecoVision. I don't 
currently have any ColecoVision games on here at the moment. I will test that out later, but I do have stuff for everything else. We'll run through a couple games showing you this working. This is flipping sweet, you know. A lot of people are looking forward to this. A lot of people don't have EverDrives and can't just load this stuff up through a cartridge. So this saves you some money on an EverDrive if you're solely going to game on the Mega SG. I think that is a huge thing, uh, you know, because what a, an EverDrive, you're looking at 100 bucks, if not more, depending on the version you get. And this pretty much allows you to do most of the stuff that can do, if not more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some things obviously are different, but there's still going to be reasons why you go one or the other. But for a lot of people, it's going to be very cost effective being able to soldier boy your your mega SG and play whatever you want on there. So this is a little message I was talking about. You can deactivate it, but it just tells you to save your games uh, to save, you know, games that have progress that's saved within the game. You do have to press down and start to go back to the menu. That way it saves it. Uh, if you just turn the system off, your game's going to be lost if that was, you know, if it supported saves. So keep that in mind. But there we go. We don't have uh, we don't have any games there. So not in ColecoVision anyway. But we do in Genesis, SMS, and Game Gear. So why not jump into a couple things? See, the little warning may get on your nerves. So deactivate it after you have that stuck in your head how that works. But there we go. I just wanted to leave it up so you guys could see it in action. So there's no question what it actually is. But here, just like, you know, if I'm scrolling through on my uh, EverDrive, you have some navigation uh, shortcuts in the bottom telling you how everything works or just prompts, navigate up and down, uh, A to run, B to go back. You could page, you can scroll pages by hitting left and right, press start button to go to the menu, C to go back to your game if you have one loaded up. So here we go. Let's check something out. Uh, this one's been on my mind quite a bit lately. Castlevania Bloodlines, right? Hells yeah. Let's boot that bad boy up. And take a look pretty damn sweet being able to do this stuff I just wanted to share this with you guys give you a heads up on how to install it very simple and show it in action So really do appreciate smoke monster helping us out and getting this uh, Released on, on github there for everybody to have access to so here we go You know you can't for sure say uh, what issues there are I know there's gonna be certain things that are not working for various reasons um, and there's documentation up for that so I'll have links to everything to look at, but most of the stuff you're going to want to play uh, should work fine. You shouldn't have any issues. So let's let's play this for a quick minute and then jump into some Game Gear and Sega Master System. Um, so you do want to make sure you have the Sega Master System and Game Gear BIOS put in there. Um, you know, I didn't test. Uh, I, I, I did test Game Gear without the BIOS and it, you would just get a garbled mess. So you do need the Game Gear BIOS in that BIOS folder. Um, Sega Master System, I just put them on there. I didn't test without it. Uh, I just took the Sega Master System BIOS files that I had for my EverDrive on there and just threw them on. So everything so far that I've tested has worked out fine. Can't really complain, right? Um, you know, we're just playing this stock. I don't have any settings, any display or audio settings going on. So, you know, don't mind any of that. That's the beauty of the Mega SG is how much stuff you could really tinker around with and tweak to get you know everything set the way you want the, those different audio options you can set to your heart's content graphics options just amazeball stuff i know we have a lot of options to play our games come on now guys so i know there's going to be people like boo like the mega sg's 200 bucks i i know man it's it's not a cheap system um and there's other options out there and i talk about every option that i have available to me on the channel because not everything is for everybody. It's just the way it is, right? You know, some people are just going to want to emulate on the cheap. Uh, some people are going to want to just play original ca uh, cartridges on original hardware. And even with these FPGA solutions, they're they're not going to be content with it. And that's fine. There's no right or wrong answer. There's just, it, it's a great community for everybody to have options to play our games. So, you know, I don't really care to hear all the, the weird crap. Oh, just emulate. Oh, why do this when you could do this cheaper? Well, then if, if that's what you got to say, the option's not for you. It's not for you. Doesn't mean it's not for me or not for somebody else. It's just not for you. So really no reason to argue about that stuff. It's it's just great to have uh, different ways to play. You know, we have Mr. Like if, if you're down with that and you don't want to mess with, uh, you know, you don't want to mess with um, cartridges or firmware, all this crazy stuff. 
you can you can you can get a mister set up for about the same price as a mega sg and have a hell of a lot more compatibility you know tons more systems that you could play so the choice is yours i think we've played this you know i actually really want to jump into this but um let's go ahead and check something else out right let's uh i mean we could just navigate through the system uh back in there the file structure but i like going back this way let's check out game gear real quick and there we go that warning again sega game gear um i do have a pretty good selection on here i don't know what to load up man uh it's 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 been a while since i played uh since i've played sega game gear you know you can always wait for that cartridge adapter to come out um which is definitely a a good option uh, let's check out Mega Man why not right you know but I don't I don't have Sega Game Gear cartridges so this is one of the big things for me I do have a little handful of Sega Master System games I do have an EverDrive um you know I, I do have some Sega Genesis games but I don't have any Game Gear games but you can you know load a lot of this kind of stuff through an EverDrive and I do have an EverDrive so hey EverDrives are 100, 100 plus depending upon the version you get some people aren't down with it, so this is awesome. You can buy a $10 SD card and load everything up that you want. But here we go, Sega Game Gear. Really cool to see Sega Game Gear on here. Oh, man. I don't think I really want to play this too much. I just want to show it working and then jump into some... Uh... Oh, snap. Oh, okay, we're supposed to go down there. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever played this. I might have just messed with it for a minute like I am right now, but hey, pretty cool. You can load up every Sega Game Gear game. Um, I've tested a few things prior to recording this. Crap! Uh, and I haven't ran into any issues yet, but like I said, there's a lot of documentation out there. I'm sure Smoke Monster will be uh, talking about this stuff more so like in some streams on his channel and whatnot. So I'll have a link in the description for his uh, YouTube channel. Always fun watching him play some games, explain things. Uh, he does a lot with uh, FPGA-based gaming, so really cool stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into Sega Master System. And I said, boom, Smoke Monster EverDrive Pack. Why is not, right? Ah, uh, what's good? What's good here? I just, I don't want to be on here for too much longer. Let's just jump into something. Ghouls and Ghosts. Hopefully this loads up. I haven't tested this yet. Yes, everything's been loading up for me just fine. So <laughs> let's take a look. Pretty damn cool, man. But we will, um, on this channel, on my channel here, we're going to have a few more videos concerning the Mega SG. So look forward to that. Some Sega CD stuff, because I didn't have a chance to mess with that on my initial review of the system or any of my follow-up stuff. But I do have access to a, a Sega CD. You know, I do have a JVC XI. I just don't have a standalone Sega CD, so I couldn't test that. But a friend of mine did let me borrow one, so we're going to be screwing around with that and messing around with some Sega Master System carts, just testing some stuff out, giving my, my total full-on impressions of the system. But I'm telling you right now, I think it's damn sweet. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, crap. I thought I was going to get sliced right there. But hey, guys, I really do appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I uh, just wanted to check this out, share this information with you guys, because it's definitely... A sweet ass thing that we knew was coming and hey it's about a week after the release of the mega sg and hells yes there we go oh man we're an old man now holy crap so with that said guys i will catch y'all next time do all the cool stuff you know what's up share the channel share the videos help a brother out we trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year you just know what i'm saying at least pretty soon i would hope i think we're doing pretty well with growth on the channel so hey thank you guys Peace out, bye-byes, and boom. Bye!